Welcome back to One Recapped. In this video, we're going to be exploring a snowy environment. But amidst the chilly atmosphere, there's a woman named Ashley who is on a journey back home. Luke is a kid who just experienced his first wet dream. He shared his experience with his friend, Garrett, who also went through the same thing. However, Luke has romantic feelings for Ashley and talks to his friend about his plans to be intimate with her tonight. Even though Garrett thinks Luke is too young for Ashley, Luke is still determined to carry out his plan. When Ashley arrives and is welcomed by Luke's parents, who quickly leave for a Christmas party, it is revealed that Ashley has been taking care of Luke since he was eight years old. This explains why Luke's parents trust her to handle Luke, who is now a teenager. Luke's mother informs Ashley that Luke has started sleepwalking again. Therefore, Ashley needs to place a pencil on the door handle to know if Luke is in his bedroom at night. Meanwhile, Luke's parents and Garrett leave Ashley alone. Ashley talks to her boyfriend, Ricky, who keeps asking to meet up. However, Ashley declines and says they will meet another time. Luke is becoming more determined to show Ashley that he's no longer a little kid. He starts taking action by capturing a dangerous spider to demonstrate his bravery and maturity, hoping to impress Ashley. Meanwhile, Ashley discovers that the back door is open and closes it. She then goes to the kitchen to pour out the water from the bottle that Luke had just drunk from. Meanwhile, Ashley receives another phone call from Ricky and hangs up, frustrated by their argument. She then receives a phone call in the kitchen, but nobody answers. They later watch a horror movie together with Luke. Luke continues to try to get closer to Ashley, even attempting to forcefully kiss her, which angers Ashley. As a result, Ashley firmly rejects Luke's advances. She then receives a phone call from a man who claims to be watching her. Ashley goes to the back window and discovers that the back door is open. She asks Luke to hand her the phone, but accidentally, he drops it into the fish tank. In a state of fear, Ashley, Luke, and Garrett discover that they can't access the internet or make any phone calls. They plan to escape using Ashley's car, but they find that the tires have been slashed with a knife. As they make their way back downstairs, they come across a message written on a brick, warning them not to leave the house or they will be tortured. Despite Garrett's panic and disregard for the warning, he still runs out to the front yard, where a mysterious figure shoots him. Ashley and Luke quickly move to hide from the intruder who entered the house. They decide to hide in the attic, evading the mysterious figure who is now inside the house. Luckily, the intruder remains unaware of their presence in the attic. However, Ashley's fear of a spider almost causes her to fall from the attic. Luckily, Luke manages to save her. Afterward, they descend from the attic and Luke goes to retrieve a hidden pistol from his parents' room. He leads Ashley to another room, even though the intruder is still lurking around the house. Suddenly, the intruder steps into the room. And shortly after, Ashley realizes that the intruder's mask belongs to Luke. She insists that the intruder removes the mask, revealing that it is actually Garrett. Ashley becomes extremely angry upon learning that Luke intended to playfully scare her and stage a rescue. Frustrated by his disrupted plan, Luke impulsively slaps Ashley so hard that she falls down the stairs. As Ashley regains consciousness, she realizes that she is bound to a chair with her mouth tightly sealed. Meanwhile, Luke and Garrett casually move around the house. Luke confesses his love for Ashley, despite their five-year age difference. The two boys then force her to play a game of truth or dare. Garrett dares Luke to touch Ashley's breasts. This leads to a heated argument between Luke and Garrett, with Garrett insisting that Luke must dare Garrett to touch Ashley, a request that Luke refuses. Left alone in the room, Ashley discovers a flashlight and uses it to signal for help using Morse code towards the window. However, she is caught when Luke and Garrett return, and the flashlight is taken away. Luke then forced her to drink a beverage that would make her forget everything. But Ashley refused and dropped her bottle, causing it to break. Ashley tried to scream for help, but Luke and Garrett stopped her. Ricky, who was at the door, said that he came to see Ashley after receiving a text message from her. Luke informed Ricky that Ashley was upset with him and didn't want to see him anymore. Ricky decided to leave but asked Luke to give him the bouquet of flowers he brought. When Luke opened the door to fetch the bouquet, Ricky forcefully entered the house. In another room, Ashley threw herself to the floor and secretly grabbed a shard of glass. As Ricky headed upstairs to search for her, Luke took a baseball bat from his bedroom and struck him. Garrett then approached them with a rifle in his hand. Luke took the opportunity to knock Ricky down, and now Ricky was tied to another chair next to Ashley. It was revealed that it was Luke who sent the message to Ricky from Ashley's phone. Garrett was unaware that this was also part of Luke's plan, so he argued with Luke, who somehow calmed him down and resolved the issue with him. After that, Luke forced Ashley to call her boyfriend, Jeremy, and ask him to come over. 
However, Ashley didn't listen to him. Luke called him himself. Meanwhile, Ashley took advantage of this opportunity to start freeing herself from the chair using the shard of glass. Ricky intentionally urinated to distract Luke, who was busy cleaning the floor, and went out to throw away the tissue. While he was gone, Ashley freed one of her legs and then released the other foot restraints. Unfortunately, things took a turn for the worse for Ricky when Luke and Garrett dragged him away from the room. Luke came up with a terrible idea to harm Ricky. Meanwhile, in another room, Ashley managed to fully free herself from her restraints. She went to the veranda, holding a pistol, and threatened Luke not to hurt Ricky. However, Luke threw the paint can he was holding, hitting Ricky's head and killing him. Ashley and Garrett stood there, shocked and gasping for breath in that horrifying scene. Ashley then pulled the trigger, but it turned out her gun wasn't loaded. All this time, her gun was empty. Ashley ran out of the house, but her efforts were in vain as Luke managed to drag her back in. He tied her up again with Christmas lights. However, Garrett looked shaken and angry due to Ricky's death. Jeremy, the ex-boyfriend, then arrived at the front door, and Luke warmly greeted him. Luke continued with his plan to kill Jeremy after learning that Ashley wanted an apology letter from him before she could meet him, without Jeremy's knowledge. With cunning, Luke managed to slip a rope around Jeremy's neck, hoisting him up in the air and hanging him from a tree. However, as Ashley opened her eyes and realized that Luke wasn't a good friend, Garrett attempted to free himself. Angered, Luke shot Garrett for touching Ashley. He yelled at Garrett, blaming him for his actions, and shot him again to ensure his demise. After that, Luke felt satisfied with his success and began arranging the bodies and creating a fake crime scene. He even pretended to be asleep when his parents arrived home, oblivious to all the violence that had occurred earlier. However, medical personnel discovered that Ashley was still alive. Luke became extremely worried that Ashley would expose everything to the police, so he decided to visit her at the hospital. Alright guys, that's the summary to be more aware in 2016. Thanks for watching and see you again in the next video.